This is a problem. We promise our customers next day shipping. If we run out of boards, our business is done with. We cannot run out of boards. This whole Groundhog's Day situation needs to stop.
Even though I just made 88 charcuterie boards, now I'm low on cutting boards. We're averaging about four to five boards a day that we ship. I literally, I only have two days worth of cutting boards here and I'm nowhere near finished building the next batch of cutting boards. I've started, but I'm nowhere near close to finishing them. And there's a lot of excuses for why I'm falling behind on this. Jenny has been gone, as you saw in the last video, Jenny's been gone for over a week now and I've had to pick up her slack. She's still doing a lot of sales and stuff on the road, but there's some things that only someone here can do and that's been fulfilling boards, that's been managing customer relationships when they request a board. I've had to handle restocking all of the equipment and supplies that we need to fulfill our boards. In addition to all of that, I've had to handle all of the stuff on the media side of the house. So that includes uh, doing the morning show by myself and running that for Jenny. I have to do the stud stack. I have to make content for that and talk to those guys. And then I have to edit the YouTube videos because for the last month, Caleb has been in Africa. What's up guys? Welcome back. Thank you. It's good uh, to be here. But every video you've seen for the last month, I've had to edit because Caleb here has been riding giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Did that all the time. <laughs> And one thing y'all don't understand from the YouTube videos is that I actually spend way more time in here on the media business than I do out in the shop building. 90% of my time is spent right here in front of the computer and I'm doing a lot of things, but most of it is not woodworking. And I get it, most of our videos are about woodworking, but the truth is day to day, I spend more time on the computer and managing the business that I do in the business. And when I am out there fulfilling boards or, or making boards, I'm nine times out of 10, I'm thinking about all the things that I have to do back in here. So I'm not necessarily paying attention to the inventory rack or how many boards we have remaining of any given given type, especially because Jenny mostly takes care of that for me. And so I've been depending on Jenny to tell me what type of board to make when. And that's the problem is me, the building department, I don't know how much inventory we have outside at any given point. And that's what we need to solve. We need a system. So far, I've been just keeping track of inventory by eye, which we already covered. I don't pay attention that well. And I've been depending on people like Jenny to tell me when I need to make another batch of boards. Building a new batch of boards does not need to be a surprise to the building department. We need to know a couple weeks ahead of time so we can tell the builders that that's what's coming the next week or two. Because building a batch of boards at, at the numbers we do is about a two week process. Introducing the Kanban board, the solution to all of our problems. So many of you suggested a Kanban board every time I ran my head into this wall. And I'm so glad, thank you to each and every one of you that suggested this. This is gonna help us so much when things get really crazy. So here's how the Kanban board works. You make a sticky note for each project that you're managing. For us, this is a batch of boards. You put it in the column that reflects its stage of completion. So we have upcoming, which is what's next. We have ordered, which means the wood is ordered. We have in progress, which means it's currently being built. And then we have finished right here to keep track of you know the most recent one. So right now I've got 50 cutting boards in process. That's what I'm building right now. So the sticky note for this is in process. I've ordered and have the lumber for 50 more cutting boards. I'll get to those eventually. And you just saw me finish 88 cherry charcuterie boards. And I know that once we restock on cutting boards, the next thing that's probably going to go low is the walnut charcuterie boards. So I can go ahead while I'm thinking ahead and make a sticky note 
for walnut charcuterie boards and I probably need to make 75 of them. So now I've got a clear picture of what's coming next, what's currently in production, what I just finished, and it just helps everybody stay on the same page as to where the production schedule is at any given time. This is a very simple version of this. It gets way more complex, but this is really going to help us when it comes to managing what boards to build next. And I can just make a little bit of progress every single day on whatever the current project is and keep things moving throughout the process. But now starts the hard part. We actually have to use the dang thing. And um, that's actually gonna be pretty tough because this week I have to build 50 cutting boards because Jenny comes back. And I'm leaving for my two week journey to fly through hurricanes. And for, and for the long, I mean, in large, that's what needs to be fixed. <laughs> Person telling me what to do, we need, I was gonna spoil it again. Why am I so bad? <sighs> so we need a system. Why am I? Introducing the solution to all of our problems. A Kanban board. What's a Kanban board? I'd love to show you. Ask me how I do it.